Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. <clears throat> I'm Pastor Joe Fox. And you know what? It's too windy out here. Let's go inside while we're walking. You ever see that movie? Of course you have. The Terminator? A lot of people would say, yeah, that's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it is, because he is the Terminator. I got coffee over here too. But more importantly, it's the movie with Linda Hamilton, who I think is a really interesting character throughout the series. <clears throat> but in that first movie, The Terminator, at the end of the movie, she's bugging out. She's in her cool Jeep. She's got her cool uh, German Shepherd. And she's at a gas station and the uh, two people are talking. I think it's a father and a son in, in Espanol. And she says, what did he say? And he said, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. And she replies, I know. Vikings, there's a storm coming. And everybody knows. If, if people are awake at all, they know there's a storm coming coming whether it's hardcore live back in the woods preppers like pastor joe fox or it's uh bill gates and people of that ilk uh, who have all the money and uh can see trends right and see where things are going i just watched a video which i put on my patreon channel from about 10 years ago a guy named dimitri orloff uh, talking about what he sees coming. And uh, yeah, everybody sees it. There's a storm coming. There was a storm coming uh, that we can read about in the Bible. We can read about it elsewhere also. The Muslims have the same basic story. And that's the story of Noah, right? Noah and the ark. There was a big storm coming, and God told Noah, build an ark. There's a storm coming, <laughs> right? And I like that story, and I'm not going to turn this into a sermon on Noah and the ark and all of that. But you have to understand a couple things. At the time Noah began building his ark, the ark, there was no river ocean, sea, lake, or even rain. That stuff didn't exist. And so here's Noah doing this seemingly crazy thing, building an ark so that he and his and others could survive what was coming. And by others, I'm talking about the critters and stuff like that. Who built the ark? Bad times were coming. Who built the ark? Noah did. Get my coffee. God could have said, Noah, I'm going to make this big flood come, bud. What I need you to do is move to this part of the land. There's this one mountaintop that I'm not going to flood. And I'm going to let all the critters come there. And uh, you go there and you'll survive. But he didn't do that. He said, Noah, build an ark. God could have said to Noah, Noah, there's a storm coming. There's a big flood coming. And what I need you to do is get ready because I'm going to have this big log come by. And I want you and yours to climb on it. And then you'll survive. But he didn't do that. He told Noah to build an ark. How are you doing on your ark, Viking? We're building an ark. There's a lot of people building arcs. Some are big arcs. Some are little arcs. Some are fleets of arcs. But I'll tell you this. Do you know what happened to the people who were not on that ark when the storm hit? They drowned. They died. There's a storm coming. There's too many believers out there that say, God will take care of me. 
And it goes, you guys know that joke, right? I'll tell it really fast. A lot of people know the joke. There's a big hurricane coming, you know, it's horrible category, whatever. And uh, the national guards evacuating people and it's raining hard. And the water's starting to come up to the doorstep and they come driving by this guy's house and they're, and they're big, you know, army truck. And they're like, Hey man, get in. He's like, no, I'm good. They're like, no, get in. This storm's horrible. Get in the ark, the truck. And he's like, no, God will protect me. And so then they drive away and then water comes up and it comes up into the living room and it comes up. The guy's got to go up to his second floor and he's hanging out in his window. And here comes, you know, some more military people search and rescue in a boat. And they come right up to a second story window and they're like, dude, get in, get in. He's like, no, nah, it's okay, man. God will protect me. God's got me. And they leave him. And then the waters continue to rise. And finally, he's clinging on to the aerial on top of his roof and here comes a helicopter and the guy's like come on get on and the guy's like no it's okay god will protect me and then what happens the water comes up and he drowns and he dies and then it's the joke goes uh he goes to heaven and he's like hey what happened man i had all this faith and i still drowned and god's like dude i gave you three chances there's a storm coming vikings one of the things I talk about frequently on Patreon is how to prepare you and yours, that's a key word, yours, for what's coming. How to get ready, things to think about, things to motivate people to do it. And one of my key themes that I hit over and over and over again is that you need people. You're gonna need people. Lone wolves aren't gonna make it. Noah wasn't a lone wolf. You're going to need people. A difficulty for many people is breaking the, uh, I, I, I gave a task. I gave homework to the, the people on Patreon, the Vikings on Patreon. And I said, hey, in the next week, I want you to start three conversations with total strangers. It's really weird. I was watching this grade B old movie the other day called, uh, cooties <laughs> if you've seen it you know it's ridiculous but anyway there's this really awkward dude in the movie i didn't finish watching i fell asleep uh, that has this book how to start a conversation talk about the weather or whatever uh, but i told him hey y'all need to go start so it was synchronicity right <clears throat> I told him you need to uh you need to start talking to people you need to find like-minded people and a common response is nobody around here thinks that way I will tell you that is not true. There are people around you who know there's a storm coming and who are trying to take steps to prepare uh, and you just haven't found them yet. And quite frankly, they haven't found you. One of my Vikings came up with a hashtag, which I thought was awesome. I don't even do hashtags. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an old dude, man. I'm not into all that social media stuff, uh, but hashtag. You know, hashtag this or whatever. And it's this. I had a t-shirt made for it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Here, I'll just do it this way. Mm -mm -mm. Hashtag, hold my gut in, going Noah. Look at that. Is that cool or what? The Viking came up with hashtag going Noah. I worked with the good people at Bonfire to design this t-shirt. I know, it's a little dirty. I work here building my ark. You can get it. You can get this t-shirt for seven days. For the next week, it's available. Then it's not available. Uh, I do this periodically, probably once a year. I'll do a t-shirt sale. And uh, so you can get it on. I don't know what it costs. I'll put a link down below. It's like 20 something dollars. I think the last time I checked, uh, it was $5 shipping and handling, whether you buy one or a hundred people care about this. I don't, but some of you do. What's it like? It's really soft. The one I have on under it, the one I, I just put this on for the, for this video, the one I have under, it's like hundred percent cotton and it's rough and tough like me. Uh, but this one is soft. And this time it's available in short sleeve, long sleeve, long sleeve premium. It's available in different colors. Um, go down to the link, check it out. 
And you can use this shirt as a way of starting a conversation. People will see that and go, hey, man, that's a cool shirt, or I like your shirt. Do you do that? I do that. Whenever I see somebody wearing a shirt I like, I, I say, I like your shirt, or that's a funny shirt, or that's a cool shirt. And I try to get a conversation going with them, because that's me. Um, but I think it sums it up nicely, don't you? There's a storm coming. The only way you're going to survive it is to have your ark and to go Noah. Do what Noah did. That's the gist of this. I mean, it's two things, this video. One, you need to start working on your arc. If you haven't already, you don't have a lot of time and you don't want a half-finished arc. Uh, and I may start a, a whole series of videos on Patreon. I'm just getting the muse striking me right now. After this, I'm going to shoot one for Patreon. Uh, I may stick with the arc theme for a while, building your arc. Things to consider. Medical, food, water, security. Dun, 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 dun. That's it. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in this shirt, which comes in multiple colors, multiple uh, lengths of sleeves and whatnot. Going Noah. You know what to do. All right. Go Noah. Build your ark. I'll see you out there.